Need more blocks for your Gutenberg website? In this video, I'll show you one of the most complete libraries of Gutenberg blocks available for free in the WordPress repository. Let's go ahead and dive in. So in this video, we're going to talk about the stackable uh, plugin, which if we go into more details here, you'll see it has over 3,000 active installs, over you know 49 uh, five-star reviews, and you can see they give you a lot of kick-ass blocks, to use their own terminology there. And what we're going to do is install this plugin and walk through some of the features and why I think this is a nice addition to any Gutenberg built website. Let's go ahead and install this now, and let's activate it. It's going to offer you to kind of get on their opt-in form. We'll just go ahead and skip this for now. And once you're logged in, it's going to give you a little dashboard here and show you the ability to enable or disable any of the blocks that you get directly in the plugin here. So you can get, take a quick uh, scroll through what our options are, and then we'll go ahead and, and build some pages with these plugins. So we got the accordion, the block quote, and you can kind of see a nice little graphic of what these things are. Blog post lists or grids, buttons, calls to actions, cards, containers. This is a very useful one. Uh, counting up, dividers. A whole bunch of options here so this is one where obviously if you don't know exactly what you need go ahead and install this thing and you'll probably find it as you go through so we have a lot of options and one i like here is a video pop-up so let's go ahead and waste no time let's add a new page and see what these suckers can do for us so if we go into our block drawer we can see our most used our inline as we scroll down here though you'll see a new section a new drawer for the stackable gutenberg blocks <clears throat> And apologies for my voice, I'm getting over a bit of a crazy cold recently. And under stackable, you'll see they all brand with that kind of pink overlay, so it'll be easy to find them as you're going through. So let's just waste no time and go and add the first one in and show you know very basic what you'd expect for an accordion, the ability to change the heading color, the heading background color. Uh, let's make it maybe something like this. So very nice, very easy uh, accordion. As so we go back in, I want to show you some of the ones I think are absolutely outstanding. And so if you look here, one of the things I really like, I like their calls to actions. Uh, so within the call to action area, you can either make it plain where there's not that border and little background area, or you can increase the border radius. You can see that getting a little more uh, curvature as well as a shadow outline where, you know, this just kind of gives it that nice professional look. And to be able to do this with one click is very, very nice. Uh, here are the co color palette. So let's go ahead and change the title to maybe a blue and the background settings maybe to that gray. Uh, that's a hideous look, isn't it? But that's okay. We're getting the idea here and I don't have anything to customize my color palette on this WordPress install here, but there is a video I've published recently that shows you how to customize your color palette. I'll link that up in the description below. Okay, so a pretty useful little guy here. And depending on the theme you're using, you should be able to search for your posts directly in the, uh, the link area here, which is very, very nice. Let's go show you a couple more. Under stackable, the container is a very useful one where within the container, you can contain other containers. <laughs> so what I mean by that is this is kind of like a, uh, a mother block. So let me remove this guy here, but this container area, I can add, for example, I can add some columns and I can put an image. I don't think I have any images directly here right now. But if I go in media library, I have nothing here right now, but you have uh, the ability to add additional content here. So let me just go ahead and add something in on the left side, something in on the right side. So let's add within this, go back to our stackable. Let's do a count up and we're going to want to have a basic count up with only one column. Thank you very much. So you got the stat. That's nice. And then maybe a heading. Okay, so now within this entire container, I have the ability to save this entire container as a reusable block. Let's say this is going to be my two column container. <clears throat> or you have the ability to, let's go ahead and edit this again and make this a standard one so I can play with it. I can see within here that this column and the column is all within the container. So you have the ability to move this entire piece of content as a single unit. So I can move the entire container up, the entire container down, and can kind of do with it what I will. So that's very useful there. Let's go ahead and preview this page. Let's save the draft and see what it looks like so far. And so you can see here that counting up, being able to have that nice animation. You see the shadow here, the drop shadow on that call to action. Our accordion being nice and, and functional and responsive and all that good stuff. So very useful plugin overall.
Let's see one more thing that I like about this. If we go back in and look at our stackable Gutenberg blocks, I really do like the feature grid. So what the feature grid does is it allows you to have multiple columns. Let's say we want to just have two columns since my screen isn't the largest right here. And it allows you to put images and features and text and, and call to action button for each one. So this is a very common thing you see on about pages or uh, company pages where let's say I want to add an icon in here real quick. Okay, so let's say we want to have this award here. We'll upload this guy. So I have this little trophy here and then let's choose one more on this side. Let's find another icon, maybe a, a grill. I like that barbecue grill. Alrighty, so we'll select our trophy and barbecue. Maybe we have like a cooking competition going on here. And now we can nicely and easily put together a feature grid and include obviously the links to where those different sections will go. And if we, let's just save this and preview again. So now you can see just nice little simple uh, features that can be added in. Obviously, you can build this individually using containers and images and headers and text and buttons, but being able to pull a single block in and do the exact same functionality, even kind of a nicer looking stylized area, uh, obviously is, is a huge efficiency gain here, which I think makes Stackable a worthwhile addition to any Gutenberg site. So. I'm John from Incomesh.com. I hope this is helpful. If you enjoyed these little tutorials and kind of spotlighting individual plugins like this, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, uh, you know, subscribe if you'd like, and I look forward to serving you in the next video. Take care.